So once again, <laughs> it is nothing. You know, if you had a tighter river valley, sure, absolutely. But you need more than just thigh deep water in a run like that. Maybe out there, but it's too fast. There's no definitive soft pocket. Maybe on Amelia's side once she catches up, but um, geez, real slim, real slim pickings. No hard edge, no hard defined. This is soft. Let me just give them a real good look, but I already know the answer. How do you like that? Make sure nobody's in the tail out. Anytime that you're within range of what's obvious water, you gotta make sure that in these troughs and whatnot, they haven't dropped out for kind of a summer feed because those birds are happy there. Well, the fish should be happy around here too. But you know where I'm looking. That wind is picking up with the front on the coast. Where's he gonna be? So far, they've proven to be up on that. Oh, there, there he is. Out, yeah, out in the sand. Okay, he's, oh, there's two. They're perfect. Yeah. Wow, crazy. Hmm. Okay, pickety pickety time, hopefully. You're gonna catch them all, Dave. Oh, <laughs> I mean, where else are they get these fish gonna be for miles upon miles upon miles in this river, right? So right now, guys, just checking my knots from there. Tip it ring, <laughs> right? Yeah. Check them out, because we're gonna have to force them if you hook up. The only way to catch more than one is to Hook and grind. Amazing, eh? Yeah. It's all, almost mesmerizing trying to figure this one out. It is. Do you want to take the net off the back or not? Not yet, no. Wow. Those two are a foot apart. Pull him down, Dave. Pull him down. Pull him down. Pull him down. Pull him down. If he pops, he pops, but pull him down. Come on. No. If he pops, he pops. Come on. You want to hold him here. That's why you checked all your knots. Yeah, see, I'm not giving him much, eh? I do not want to give this fish much. If you want multiples, you can't give them much. In the net. There we go. Awesome. That's that's a start. Hey? Yeah, for sure. Is that what, three and a half? Oh, God, no. Two and a half? Two and a half, yeah. Smaller fish. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Two and a quarter, actually. I got you. Well, the far, the far one's way over there. Yeah, good. Still going. So, guys, in that... That's essentially it because we can see these feeder fish are feeding. So from the indicator, I'm just going to make sure I can see this so you can see what you're seeing. Um, yeah, so the indicator is just above a strike. Uh, sorry, the strike indicator wall is right at the tippet ring. And that's a 2x leader to there. Then you come down two feet to the big, heavy, oversized tungsten pheasant tail with legs. And then about a foot below that is just a little kind of hair's ear copper tail thing and we know these fish are active so you're all within about two and a half three feet of the indicator to be quite succinct you want it to be indicative quickly because they're these fish are moving all around so use that to your advantage and pickety pickety pick that's not gonna be easy might have a chance right now though Two. Come on, little buddy. Come on. 
Crank them, Davy. There we go. That's fine. I don't mind losing that. That's two. Hookups count because you're trying to force them, right? <laughs> now to try to find them. Where is he going to be? You know, there's he's here hiding under that cover now. Oh, there's, there's a fish up there. After that second hookup, I didn't get lucky. And now I'm faced with the crime of deep nymphing under an indicator and hoping for the best. I can't cast this in this wind very sexily. Try to bring them down if I can. So. <laughs> That's awesome. But he may show yet. None of these were big, eh? Look at. Okay. Well, three. <laughs> Don't matter. Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm seeing a fish here, guys, as I walked out right in front of me here. There's kind of a cream rock and then a greeny gray rock to its right, and it's surfing just below those. It's not super well defined, but man, does it ever look like a fish in there. So it's something I definitely have to cover. I don't think I'm gonna see that fish from back here. I'm just backing up. Yeah, I might. Let's see what I see when I actually get down this bank. Yeah, that's him up there swaying. Okay. So I know the zone I need to get into. Up and one on the water. That's all you got. Still gotta lead him a little more. Yeah, that might do it. Yep, yes! That's what I needed to do. Just lead him a little more. Comes up and takes a dry. Gotta love that, guys. Love that every day of the week. Here we go. Now I'm going down. Spunky fish. Dig in. Yes, 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 yes. Beauty. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. I really love my spot job on that. Stunner of a fish, guys. Okay, just pretty. That lovely teal green by the cheek. Big old spots. Off and away, woohoo! That one made me happy. Um, these are the days where it's windy as hell right at us. And right into that wind. yeah, right, Dave just said right into that wind. And uh, it's not fun. Um, you can't have lots of cast. Gotta be able to just up and shoot that line. And I knew I had to do that. Um, the neat part was spotting it, to be honest with you. Just walking up slow and going, trusting. Yeah, that shape is definitely moving. And it's, you know, it, you can see it specifically between rocks. And that's kind of exactly what you're always looking for in a lot of these rivers is, you know, pick up some of the rocks where there's the perfect water, a bit of slack, a bit of calm, and look hard. Yeah, this is this marginal 
marginal water looking straight into the sun into the wind and it's just like yeah um yeah now nah. but you gotta look what well, how do you see i gotta wait for you to lead yeah. i would have already spooked this so wind's starting to blow the tops of the rapids what I love is that just on the other side of this tussock is a, the biggest fish of the day and there's no high cloud and there's no wind while I'm sitting here waiting and what are you going to do? Amelia is shooting macros of flowers down there and I guarantee that when she's done that that the wind picks up Why? when, it, when she gets up here to fish. How do I know? Well, let's see. So, there's Amelia, and there's the wind. Is it a left-handed cast? Maybe. That might be my best. Woo! Until the wind. Oh, no, I'm definitely stronger with my right into the wind. Now that I'm here, test your cast into the wind. Yeah, it's ugly. Uh-huh. Wow. That's an ugly into the wind kind of cast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, he's clinging to that rock, eh? Yeah, he is. It's a dark fish. Yeah, he's definitely fed though lots. <laughs> yeah, like that. Like that. Try to play the wind gust here, but if I don't sound confident. Yeah, make sure you don't turn it off, just stay focused, because when I go, I'm going to have to go. I'll be ready. Yeah. Okay, I think now. Go. Oh, way left. Sorry. Okay, one more. Here you go. Let's feed him, Dave. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Sorry, love. It wasn't a great cast. But that's the dry fly cast I can give you. Were you able to get that? Oh, great, wonderful. Heavy fish, though. And where is this one going to go? <laughs> I'd like to try to walk the dog back into the, to the soft stuff. Okay, let's get him down here. Let's see if we can first get him in. If I could kind of get him into this next little bucket, kind of like that, keep him there. And then rotate your rod upstream like that. Come on, fish. Can I get that head up right now? Yep. Woo! That's a heavy fish, actually. Much heavier than I gave him credit for. Yeah. He's six flat. Now get here, ready, love? And go for it. Okay. Look at that thing, eh? <laughs> Heavy. Heavy. Love that. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. In on the fish. Look at that peck fin. That's exactly why you can't lift these things. Oh yeah. Okay, easily. Just, Just a that. peck fin and a half. Yeah. Hey. Sweet. So we'll see. We'll see what happens on video with that. I know my casting was. <laughs> it was like two casts. No flop, flop into that wind. I'm probably yelling. Sorry. Um, yeah, those are the things that you try to set up. And I just knew when Amelia was down filming flowers and there was no wind, it was like, yeah, I know how this goes. And as sure as anything, you know, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, no, good luck. But again, Amelia just caught that fish. Well, just caught that fish half an hour, 45 minutes ago in that heavy chop on that big uh, sedge pattern with that iced up uh, body. Kind of looks like a terrestrial kind of uh, metallic uh sheen to it i was like well if she's gonna catch that fish on that water then you know this fish is gonna eat dry fly as well so just stick to what you know the simple stuff big wide gap dry fly and it, you make sure you get the hook set that's the kick and that was a classic fish uh, just sitting on a big gravel wash if there's going to be a fish on uh, an inside like that it's going to be on the only rock embedded into that stuff 
and that fish they, they, those fish just tend to surf with their big peck, peck fins and you saw how big that peck fin was on that fish in the video once it's in the net but i mean it's like those those big peck fins are just like sails and they can just glue that fish to the bottom with hardly any energy and and that's why they can sit there like that in that water what a what a great big old male actually love yeah my rod wasn't flexed. Uh, there's a green void over there in some orange rocks. See these two? These two rocks? These two here. Just four feet further over and a little bit upstream. Yeah, I see what you're looking at. Green void. Yeah. Is that a fish? <laughs> I'll keep my eye on it well as we go up, oh, see on. if it does anything. Still looks good. Wow, it's nasty, hey? We actually have to go all the way back here to be able to just see here now. I know. I'm gonna just film that. Yeah. I should be able to get a decent. Whoa, huge swing over, huge swing. Where? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, coming home. The good cool. news is you should be able to stay on this I, side. I'm staying on this side, yeah. No question, I'm gonna cast from this side. Okay. Okay, I'm definitely gonna try with just the dry hair, guys. Get down to the water, though. So that's him there, okay. Way over here. Yeah, huge swing. As long as he doesn't drop on me. Will do. Oh, come on. Cut that. There we go. Big swing. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go for it very shortly here, Dave. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Wow, he was way right when I came then. Yeah. Okay. I'll go again here. Yeah. Yes, beauty. He's going for it. <laughs> He's going for it. Go, 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 go. He's taking me right to those rocks. Right to those rocks, come on. Yeah, here we go. Way smaller than I thought he was. Yeah, he is, it turns out. Keep him down here anyway. Yeah. That's where he's going. That wasn't good. Okay, you gotta keep him in here. Bring him back up. You get your head up. Yes, get your head up. Get your head up and scoop ya. Woo! Yeah, man. Bigger fish than you thought, though. Oh yeah, yeah, it's probably close to five. Yeah, he's definitely uh, almost five, four and three quarters. <laughs> did you say that you did get it on uh, camera? Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, that, that fish showed up. When he showed up, clear as a bell. V water, guys. Um, it's gonna stand up so you can see it a heck of a lot better, but again, Beautiful run coming out of fast water at the top and uh, I'm sure as you could see as I was going for it It's just got the perfect depth down the middle. I'd say it's close to knee to thigh deep And he was holding on a rock surfing away First cast he actually went right when my drift went left next cast got him um, Again, just beautiful moment. Not a lot to say about this one. No, actually, there is. Oh, there is. Yeah. Here we go. Dave's got something. No, I remember yesterday on your drive by, the one. Uh, hey, you remember? Remember that fish downstream that was a turn at you and eat? Yes. This one. This one. You cast. It came home and you cast across, and it drift down. You let it so well and it drift across. It took away from you. So the fish that you lost. Yeah. Was. You didn't know where home was and it came back home and it came this way.
way to eat. This one, it was coming home as you cast, and your cast didn't line home because he was away from home because he kept eating right. So he was coming from right to left as you put it in there. Your dry fly went to his right and he ate away. And that's exactly what we were talking about on that last fish down there. If we could have cast that way, you get that take away, you get a better hookup. And, and that fish was lost, whereas this one was away, he ate away, and you get the hookup. And that's the difference right there. It absolutely is. <laughs> okay, guys, so that fish was mid river healthy fat fish. Those are the fish that are going to be out there going, yeah, 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 yeah. And those are the fish you want kind of showing up with green head and a, and, a, and a healthy, robust body. And those are the fish that you go, yeah, because they're right mid river and happy, happy feeders. Now that Amelia went, you know, full full Usain Bolt through the run, I'm sure there's going to be at least six more lined up. <laughs> oh, come on, give me credit. I was working the fish I was on, uh, and I thought my tippet would get wrapped on a rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is there anybody else here? We, well, we don't know, because the Usain Bolt uh, elephantitis yeah, went through here, 200 miles an hour. But yeah, that was a gorgeous fish. Um, that's ex <laughs> How many of those could there possibly be in a run like this? Well, if it was a cutthroat trout river, God, you'd be here all day, but um, you're just looking for that one fish now. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna go off your right. Yeah. Now, you see the, he comes out eh, in he this. He comes right out from right below Right me. there. See the brown, yeah, yeah. yeah. So my, my window, honestly, is right in the middle of that. Not quite where he came out that far there. He comes okay. out better, more here. Not going in, it's hard to describe this to you. The fish is, the whole body's gonna come up and it's yeah. gonna fill the screen. Yep. I'm not going in so tight that, yeah. Right there. That. If I put the fly there. Sure, in that zone? Yeah, right kind of in the heart there. of that foam okay. right there. Yep, sure gonna keep on this zone then okay do you want to um cast or camera i'm happy on camera honey. okay I'm, i'm gonna take the walk time to walk right around then i'll watch for a rise okay. and then we'll set it up again okay sounds great okay well sometimes we are able to set up shots that are really cool takes a little bit of time and being a back eddy well let's see this is where I am this is where Amelia is up there with my window Dave see the heart of all the foam yeah right here? yeah that's really my window and it's not too far off this rock the side of this rock. Like yeah, yeah. As far out as two feet, that's it. F from your perspective, right? Yeah. My thing is, he's just out from the rock from my perspective. You see that? No, I did not actually. So okay, no. Nope. Yeah, no worries. He's just got up in the water column there a little bit. Yeah, see, I haven't seen him at all. No, you wouldn't. And he will. Yeah, let's, let's wait. Right there. Yeah, that's a little, little back, but that's good. That's his own. Okay, let's wait for one more rise then. Okay. Oh, we were absolutely on the same page. Yeah. He's just back. He's just right beside that last rise. Does I'm just letting you know. I'm not saying that's where I'm going. Cool. Yeah, like to, to the bank side, right? Yeah, I see the heart of that foam right now. Is that good for you? That's great if you want to go in there. No, well, I'm going to wait until he rises there. Yeah, there, there. You saw that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? You got that? Yeah. Got him. Got him, love. Yay. Good job. Does that make you happy? Absolutely. Here we go. I do. Thanks, Mouse. Absolutely. <laughs> 
I was afraid it was about six inches too close to, to the bank for you. No, I had it. Wicked, thanks. No, he's just a real solid, strong little fish. <laughs> there you go. Okay, here we go. Awesome. <laughs>